Today we're going to cover some tips for robotic animation in Blender involving keyframes and such. So let's just make Bonnie here rotate. I'm going to click on the bottom left and then go to animation and then go to timeline. And then I'm going to select his rig as in here and then click pose mode. First I'm going to select the key in mode, which is going to be location and rotation for most animations. What I'm going to do is get a base keyframe here. And then let's say 20 keyframes, you want his chest to rotate to the right. So, what that's going to look like here is just a slow rotation at first. Not going to look very robotic at all. But, if you right click on the first keyframe you placed and then go to interpolation mode, you'll see a bunch of different options. These can be confusing, but you want to go to dynamic effects. You're going to use either back or bounce. Back moves the model a bit back at the end of the animation. So it'll go to the right and then go just a little bit back to the left. So I'll show you what that looks like. It also makes it a lot quicker at the start, however, so it can get that back and forth animation in. But as you can see, that can help with looking robotic. Okay, now let's right click on the same keyframe, go to dynamic effects and click bounce. Now this is good for older robot style, something that wouldn't operate very cleanly. And this will be like a really rickety type machine. I like using these, but like I said, any robots that would be older or not well functioning, something that's not very um, complex or anything in its movement. And that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope these uh, tips helped. I will link the models in the description. Thanks guys, have a good one.